Hi, welcome to Ethereum Mechanics video number 40. This video is titled The Ghosts in the Ether. It's for general audiences. A recurring theme in Ethereum Mechanics is that mankind usually gets stuff backwards before they get it right. And I'm going to show the concept of the old Ether model is a characteristic of this problem. Consider the old Ether model. They said that matter is dense. Matter is dense and heavy. Ether is very fine, low density, wafty. Material that permeates the space between matter. Okay, but in order to explain such things as the source of reactionary force of inertia, even why is this thing heavy? How could this thing be heavy if it's all inertialist particles? What makes it heavy? Okay, it, it just can't be coming from inside. It's, well, we're going to discuss this. So I have no sense getting off topic now. Okay, Pat, perhaps, so if we use reciprocal thinking here, if we say perhaps the reason why matter can pass through the ether with very little drag interaction is not because the ether is too fine to interact with the motion of the matter, but rather matter is too fine to interact with the ether. We got it backwards. Matter is not dense, and ether is fine and wafty. It's matter is fine and wafty, and the ether is dense. Let's consider video number 23. If we had 1,500 swimming pools filled with carbon, the total volume occupied by the tons would be no more than the size of an M&M. 1,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with carbon. And now from the last video, the volume of the pretons would be at least a thousand times small than that, probably more like a million. Thus, it's the matter that's ethereal in nature and not what we call the ether. And had I came to this realization when it was time to pick a name those 15, 20 years ago, I probably would have picked a different name. But it is what it is. And the reason why it is is because ether, um, the reason why they chose a ether for the or ether because there's a material that's like alcohol that evaporates in air so easily so uh, fine and they, that's what they called it. they needed something that was finer than air and so they figured the ether has to be close to that alcohol substance and that's why they called it their thing for the light the a ether they put the a on it to distinguish it from the alcohol medium I'm still using the alcohol it doesn't really matter to distinguish from theirs just like Ethernet uses Ether as opposed to Aether. So we come to the realization that matter passes through the Ether like ghosts pass through solid objects. I'm not saying that there is ghosts, but we're using the, the metaphor of ghosts. So figuratively speaking, we are ghosts in the Ether. And someone might say, well, if we are ghost-like, then why do solid objects feel solid? How come my hand just doesn't pass through this uh, heavy cannonball. And the reason why matter feels solid is because a bubble to another bubble seems like a solid object. It's just a, ma it's just a matter of relativity. Well, I hate using that word because of my nemesis, Uncle Albert there. But this cannonball is a very fine bubble. So is my arm. It's just this is a little bit more dense than my arm relative to the ether. But relative to the ether, these are virtually non-existent. The amount of material here is, the amount of pretons that make all this up is virtually non-existent. And it looks solid because it's, we've got electromagnetic things that reflecting. But in normal, a lot of other frequencies go plain through all this stuff without even touching it. Higher frequencies will go clean through you without even affecting you. Where other frequencies you know, will damage you, other frequencies will reflect off. It depends on the frequency. So that we have had this backwards has stunning ramifications. That the ether is incredibly dense has stunning ramifications. And you can probably figure that out on your own. If not, it'll become clear as we progress. Anyway, thank you. Uh, please donate if you can. Uh, please subscribe. Please give me thumbs up. Uh, thank you. And thanks for the donations I've been getting. I really appreciate that. Thanks.